Hi, I'm Pip Waller, and this is Being Human, where I talk about all sorts of things to do with being a person. So one of my themes is thinking about, about healing. I'm very interested in this idea of healing, and that kind of, kind of brings the question, well, what do we need to be healed from? And what, it's obviously connected with health, so being really well, health, wellness. So what does it mean to be really, really well? Does it just mean, oh, well, I haven't got anything I'd go to the doctor with? And I could get on with my life without anything, you know, distracting my attention from what my mental or physical processes. I don't know. What does it actually mean? So I've been thinking about this for a long time. I've been 30 years. I've been a medical herbalist and um, done a lot of thinking about what does it mean? Wellness, illness, how to treat illness, how to how to move from a place of being unwell to a place of being well. I've got a lot of experience in doing that with other people, like, you know, being by somebody's side as they're on the healing journey. And I've also got experience of my own healing journey. I've like, and for me, a lot of that was emotional healing. What I needed to, I had a lot of difficult things happen when I was very small. So, you know, they left their, their mark, they left their scars, if you like. And some of them were scars that had healed really well and you could just ignore and get on with. But some of them were actually not so much scars as unhealed wounds. So I've had to do quite a lot of going into, delving into the idea of healing and what does that mean. And so as part of that, I've looked a lot at different indigenous healing systems. And uh, I see there's some absolutely incredible ones. Ayurveda, for example, is absolutely brilliant the 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 ancient the chinese uh, medicine is absolutely brilliant the western tradition's got great things in history of of knowing and understanding how to treat disease and then the um the tribal indigenous peoples have very very developed spiritual understanding about energy and how that affects us so i be it gets me thinking like what is health and and what is healing and i i wanted to be really clear to everyone that my perspective is that we need healing on many levels in our society particularly we have some particular needs physically we've got a situation where we often don't have very good food very healthy food we don't have a right sort of exercise we've got a lifestyle that's very stressful so there's a big toll on the body from that perspective mentally well we're in a society where we sort of kind of almost we just live from the neck up almost we're not in touch with our bodies and that doesn't just mess our bodies up it messes up our minds our minds aren't designed to be in charge in that way really kind of designed to be the servant of our heart rather than the master of everything and uh, so at, we need to do things that look after our mind and, and um, heal our minds and then feelings we are absolutely ignorant about feelings as a as a as a general rule still in our culture you know it's getting better than it was people know oh it helps people to talk but we're still bringing our children up most people are still bringing out up children to not show their feelings and even as soon as they're babies they're not allowed to cry about anything it's dummies it's bottle or food or food or sweets or maybe boob if you're lucky and if you're unlucky it's a whack shut up i'll give you something to cry about we're really in a mess with feelings and we need to get more comfortable more congruent with them and then the other thing that we're very backward in our modern societies are very backward in is having a real spiritual or energetic understanding that actually you know this physical thing this isn't the only thing that's here we're actually this physical material reality is an expression of a great moving movement of of energy which some of us like to call divine energy or spiritual energy and which can be understood and worked with in certain ways to bring more healing and it can also be misunderstood ignored worked badly with to create harm and a lot of what we're doing in our lives as a, as a culture is creating harm rather than healing so this is going to be a big theme for me more on that soon i'm pip Waller. this is being human thanks for listening